Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Productivity Open P1AM Arduino Ethernet Shield web server. Now, detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So up on my screen I have a Arduino program sketch and this sample actually comes from the GitHub uh, example put up on the site that will show you analog signals. Now what we're going to do is take um, a digital input, digital output, and a uh, thermocouple input and actually display this on a web page. So the first thing we'll do is um, we will look at the sketch here and you can see here that we've included our Ethernet which is automatically defaulted um, as we installed Arduino uh, software, the IDE. Then we include our P1AM. Then what we do is we set our MAC address to the MAC address on our Ethernet shield. Now if we just call up this Ethernet shield here you'll see that um, once we tear it apart you'll see where the pins are you'll see this placard right here or the sticker and on the sticker you'll see the reserved MAC address. Now each one is unique so you must have that MAC address specified in the program. So that's where that is. Then once we have that we're going to set our IP address to 192.168.1.177 so this will be the IP address of our web server itself. Then we're going to uh, take the port address for the server as 80 which is the default. Then we'll look at the uh, configuration of the P104 thermocouple input card and we can do that by looking at uh, this link right here and you can see here that we have our thermocouple card and this makes it very easy to actually uh, configure this thermocouple card itself. So what we want to do is we'll say the low side burnout is in Celsius degrees and we'll only use the first channel. So now there is our configuration file for that card and we can then copy that configuration file and then we can return back to our Arduino program or our IDE and this is exactly what is put in there. So then we're going to say that our um, thermocouple actual input one is going to be zero zero and it's going to be a double. So we've already configured that. Now we start our setup we're going to start our serial monitor at 115,200 uh, baud. Then while uh, we wait for the serial product monitor to open and wait for the module sign on and then we then we initialize our Ethernet and we begin our Ethernet with our MAC address and our IP address to start the Ethernet connection. Then what we do is we just wait until everything powers up and we will just delay. Then what we do is we start our server and then we start our configuration of our thermocouple card. So now we have everything set. Now we start into our loop. We listen for our client to connect and the client being the browser that's going to be connecting to our system. Then if it does connect then what we do is we will send the standard uh, response to the client and we also print it out through our serial port. Then what we do is we will actually read um, uh, once we got that connection we send it out and now we can write the information to our browser for the information that we're actually reading from our, our cards. So in slot one I have an eight put, eight put input uh, boolean card simulator and we're going to read that in and we're going to display the on and off conditions of that card and then what we're going to do is actually you'll see the rung uh, pre or later on in the program here that actually will write all of the inputs to the output channel so it's just going to mimic it so we're just going to mimic that exactly onto our website as well our web page and then what we do is we handle, we look at the thermocouple card 
and we put the thermocouple reading onto our uh, web page. And that's it. And then we close it off and we break it. Um, close the connection and we stop it. Now there is, and then right here, we write our discrete inputs to our outputs. So that's, uh, that's how our program works and that's it. What you'll see here is we do have one part in our program that when we talk to it, we have this refresh period. This is refreshing the web page every three seconds. So when we put this into our browser, you'll notice that we will actually um, constantly update those values every three seconds on our browser. So that is the program. And now what we can do is we can look at our hardware that we have. So I'll just call that up. There we go. And you'll see here we have our Rhino powering up our cards and that's our expansion cards right here which we have our simulator input 8 point we have our output uh, discrete in our outputs which are relays and then we have our thermocouple card right here and we're using the first input using a, a J type thermocouple back into this unit right here so this is our our end of our thermocouple unit itself then we're connecting to our Ethernet uh, module right here. Remember that uh, sticker for the bot or the MAC address is actually on the side of this. So it's important to write that down before you actually assemble this whole uh, structure. And you can see this is our Ethernet cable going back to our, um, our network. And we are in run mode here. So what we'll do is actually um, write this down. So upload it to our controller. So what it's doing is actually compiling the sketch and then writing it to that controller. There we go, our upload is now complete. And now what we can do is we can call up our status monitor or our serial monitor right here. And you can see here we've said slot one there's our simulator card, there's our relay output card, there's our thermocouple card, and the server is at 192.168.177. So that is there. So now what we'll do is actually call up now our browser again. And we will now punch in the number. It's just a... Uh, uh, 192, 168, and hit enter. And automatically you'll see our readings for our input and output. And what you'll notice is that every time uh, three seconds expire or goes, it'll actually reset that or, or redo that web page again. If we look at our serial output, you can see how it's constantly updating and sending that out. So let's turn on, let's see, make sure that's working. Let's just turn on uh, one, two, three switches. And you can see the first three switches turn on and the corresponding three output switches turn on. So that seems to be working fine. And you can see our temperature reading right here at 26.01 degrees C. And I'll just hold on to my thermocouple, which then should start increasing. And you can see that it is increasing right now. And quite rapidly, we have 27, 29, 71. So, and then we'll just let that down again. So it's very simple to implement this web server on our Arduino. Now, one thing we could do is actually demonstrate how it opens up and we'll open up another one, the same website. And then we'll hit enter. And then we have the same readings. Now, what you'll notice is that these are gonna update all the time and if I look back now at my serial monitor where I'm actually uh, looking at the data you can see here that it's going to actually double do it twice every time that each of the uh, sites here are updating so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button below 
If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click that bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.